Good morning, everybody. Uh, a couple things to show off this week. Um, I posted online that I was able to get the application sensing, profile switching, uh, macro actions, all that stuff working. So uh, I just got a little bit to show off on that. Um, so what I've been able to do is uh, now there is a tab called application profile and what that is is it's going to include um, the fields that are in the pop-up for reporting and incorrect information uh, I'm going to merge those settings into this page uh, as well as contain these uh, events um, that will fire that you can configure and add actions to uh, for whenever the application does something predefined like gains focus or loses focus um, so here in this instance I have a, another uh, application running in the background here um, that I use for you know watching like rented movies and stuff like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to this and you're gonna see a few things happen here number one you'll notice the lights that I have in the room changed um, this light up here which is just some excess LED strip lighting I have that is the same that run around my shelves um, I just hung it up just so it was easily visible. Um, what that did is it changed to blue and dimmed itself. And then this one, which is one of the lamps I have in the room, which also run along the shelves, uh, turned off. So that's just kind of setting up like a scene, um, like an atmosphere that I use for when I'm watching movies. You know, just some dim lighting, but you know, most of the lights off. Um, it also uh, you see there that was the that's what the IFTTT webhook command that's what that did that controlled the scenes or the uh, the lights and that's done through the if this then that uh, website service and they have the ability to control you know smart lighting smart appliances uh, all kinds of stuff uh, so you will be able to integrate input mapper with that and uh, you know send triggers for you know that website to control um, and you know pretty much anything you want your AC your fans whatever um, but the other thing I did was the set profile command uh, you'll see that my DualShock 4 changed to a different profile which is media controller uh, so I can control the media um, inside the application fast forward blah 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 so um, nothing entirely new there uh, input mapper used to switch profiles pretty easily before um, but it lost that ability uh, with the previous versions application sensing and now it's getting it back uh, with a lot more functionality and expandability uh, so what I'm gonna do is my movie window is still highlighted I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on input mapper and you're gonna see my lights go back to full bright uh, this one turn that one turned back on uh, and my profile switched to X input gaming uh, so uh, again just an example of some of the things you can do um, there's also other stuff coming um, uh, let's see there's yeah there's still a little UI polish needs to be done I'm not sure why that was flickering in and out uh, I think it's actually my mouse I think it's got a bad button in it but anyways um, anyways there's some other things I have in here and just for quick examples uh, it's gonna get expanded a lot more because this is just feeding off of macro actions so especially when I get to that part of the development doing the macros anything that can be an action in a macro can also be an action uh, for when the application uh, triggers any of these events and I'm also going to be spreading those events around uh, in other parts of the application as well uh, now that there's such an easy control for it and you know the backbone is there um, I'm gonna be able to allow people to set up uh, their own events for when a controller is de detected uh, disconnected battery states um, I don't know when the application starts when it stops all kinds of stuff um, I'll just be able to litter those around in the settings and people can pretty much you know fine-tune a lot of the different actions they want input mapper to take when uh, different conditions arise on top of what will be available normally just in the actual macro system once that's produced uh, but you see here I have uh, setting the profile that's an obvious one application there's a couple just quick ones that I threw in here 
uh, quit, minimize, restore. Uh, of course, the if this, then that, which is what's controlling my lights and could conceivably be controlling anything else that in, if this, then that supports. Um, so, I mean, I can go in here. If input mapper uh, loses focus, go ahead and minimize it because there's no reason to have it hanging out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click another window here. And boom, you see input mapper just gets hidden because it was minimum or because that action. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with my mouse button here. So yeah, I bring it up, click another window, and it just hides. So um a lot of UI work still needed. Um it's rough right on the edges, it's not very intuitive. Uh so that's what I'm gonna work on. But uh the fact that the base uh code of it is working is very promising so uh, uh, you guys will be able to look forward to getting those builds out this week all right that's about it y'all have a good one